Canadian farmers of milk, eggs and poultry plan their production so as to avoid surpluses and respect the demands of the consumers with high quality local products. Imports fill part of the needs, but their quantity is supervised. Family farms can prosper in this market without government subsidies, thanks to the agricultural policy called supply management. Supply management attracts more new farmers, ensures new farmers' profitability, prevents young people from starting out. Spot the error. It's absolutely essential to take care of the next generation if we're convinced we need agriculture in the future, and we need to keep feeding ourselves. We need young people to have access to supervision and support. In the case of supply management, when loaning quotas are available, that helps young people to establish themselves in this field. It's important that everyone understands that so we can put in place what's needed for the next generation to succeed in agriculture. Yes, most of the time, new farmers are found in supply management supported facilities. According to MAPAC, 65 or 67 percent of the dairy farms, which plan to transfer ownership in the coming years, had a relief team waiting. Young men and women, there are more and more women, were set to take over the farm. That happens more often than in other fields of production. We can start a hundred farms in ten years, but if there's only five left after a while, why bother? When supply management is involved, if we start one, it's a serious business that'll last. Supply management is good for the next generation, simple as that. Another advantage in starting out by way of supply management is that it allows you to have an attractive annual income from the get-go. If you also start out with a help program for newcomers, it allows you a fair and solid salary in the first year of exploitation. It gives us a guaranteed income, a steady paycheck. As long as you respect the objectives of your quotas, the volume you have to produce, the income is there. The stability of the supply management system brings confidence, and it attracts young farmers. Operating under the supply management system gives the advantages of predictable income and anticipated financial results. If a person manages his operations well, he knows what to expect. Quotas have become more valuable over the years. That's why we put in place systems that help newcomers have access to production means. We also made sure we had transaction mechanisms to make quotas available not only to the biggest or more important farmers, but to every farmer in Quebec. In my case, the Federation of Egg Farmers have a startup program to help newcomers begin their production. A quota of 5,000 laying hens are lent for life. Do you want to add anything? Yes, and it's a loan that is also transferable to our children, to our successors. It's a very interesting program. It allowed us to start in this field. We find it very, very useful. There's a quota loan program for newcomers who take over an already operational farm, and since 2006, there's a startup help program that offers loans to start up new farms. Since its inception, it allowed us to give out loans to almost 80 dairy farms. So 80 new businesses were created. It's clear there's a demand because it's a sector that performs well. So people want to work in this field. 
But at the same time, there is an entrance fee. If I say, here's an industry that's doing wonders, everybody wants in on it. But it takes three, four million dollars to start the factory. Now, of course, not everyone has that kind of money. When it was time to start our business, we sold our house. We sold what we could. We invested in our business because we believed in it. And here we are today. Yes, the banks are interested, willing to finance quotas. They're open to lending money. Not produced under the supply management system. Spot the error. It's an error to state that supply management prevents young people from starting out. Supply management in Quebec is 7,288 family farms, 42% of agricultural revenues, a $7.19 billion contribution to the GDP, and 81,971 jobs.